Hi, everyone. Um, hello. If you can see me and hear me okay, if you could let me know on the chat or just sending a thumbs up or a reaction, that would be awesome. So I can know that we can start with the presentation. So please, if you can see me or hear me, please let me know. Perfect. Thank you very much for sending the thumbs up. Okay. So hi everyone my name is carla and on behalf of the student world i welcome you to this session um, with universita catolica del sacro cuore i'm going to explain to you very fast how this session would work and then i will pass um, the microphone to elisa so she can start with the presentation so first of all we have a chat over here there you can let us know which city are you watching us from and uh, let me yeah sorry about that which city are you watching us from um or just say hi to us so we can start to get to know you more and then we have another tab here that is preguntas there you can send us your questions these will be mainly in english um but if you have questions that you um, don't know how to ask in English, you can post them in Portuguese and I will do my best um, to translate them. Uh, I speak Spanish, I'm from Mexico City, but I have an idea of Portuguese, so uh, I will be super happy to help you all. And that is basically it for the platform. If you would like also to mute the notifications, um if it gets um like very distracting or so you can mute them just clicking on the bell that is on the top of the chat and i see mauricio daniel um and everyone from brazil thank you so much for being here with us today we're super excited and i hope that you get the best of this um presentation and now I'm going to present you to our representative for today. She is Elisa Cuadro. She um, she is with um, Universita Católica, and she's going to talk to you about all the amazing opportunities that they have for you. So welcome, Elisa. Thank you very much for being here with us today. And the stage is all yours. Thank you, Carla. Hello, everyone. Nice to meet you. Thank you for participating in, uh, in this webinar. Uh, as Carla said, the, the presentation will be in English. I'm sorry I don't speak uh, Portuguese, unfortunately, um, but I will try not to speak too fast. And as we said at the end of the presentation, we will have a space for your questions and doubts. Um, I really hope you enjoy uh, our webinar today. Um, so, Università Cattolica, the opportunities that we have today, we will focus on the postgraduate programs that our university offers. Um, you probably already know Università Cattolica, it's quite uh, well known, especially in, uh, in Brazil. Uh, but let's start uh, uh, talking about Italy, generally speaking, and why studying in Italy. Um, well, there are actually many, many reasons why uh, I could tell you why Italy is uh, the right probably destination for your studies and why you should really take uh, Italy into uh, the list of the places where you could go to study your uh, master degree. Um, but for sure, there are some reasons that I think are more important than others, and I would like to tell you a bit more about them. Well, for sure, quality at its best, it's something that uh, um, you should think about when considering our country um, for your future studies. Uh, Italy is, as you know, very much well known for some things, uh, specific, more specifically some fields uh, uh, such as design, art, fashion, the made in Italy indeed, uh, but also finance, economics, management, especially in some places. Uh, and I think this is quite important, especially if you are passionate about design or art or fashion, um, which are for sure some fields where Italians are quite well known. And for sure, you will find a lot of opportunities and you will enjoy a lot your staying here, especially if you like one of these uh, um, fields. Uh, another thing which I think it's interesting to, to know is that actually Italy has a very big cultural variety. Uh, which, uh, um, well, it 
seems could seem strange as Italy is a very small uh, country, especially if you think compared to, to Brazil. But actually, we have a lot of uh, um, variety into our country, and you will have for sure the chance to see all of these and to travel a lot around Italy, but not only, also obviously around Europe, as Italy is really placed in a quite interesting place. And uh, as you will see, Università Cattolica has a campus in Milan and another one in Rome, among the others, which are very well connected uh, to other important airports and capitals of other uh, countries. So you will also have uh, very much easily the chance to visit Europe, uh, um, moving um, very easily around all the countries that are uh, next to Italy and not only. I'm also com very confident and sure about the fact that uh, you will have a unique experience. Uh, we have already had many students coming from Brazil they really enjoy living in Italy. They really feel uh, that is a welcoming place uh, and that there are many things that we have in common, culturally speaking. Uh, and for sure, uh, not just because, uh, uh, well, there are many interesting things in our country. You will have the chance uh, and we will see it more in details uh, to learn a new language, to practice it, if you speak already a bit of Italian, which is not so different from Portuguese, but you will also have the chance to study in English if you don't speak Italian so much, and you will obviously enjoy and experience a completely new country, having the chance to use, well, a language which obviously we all know, which is English, yes, and that will be obviously your bridge and uh, the opportunity for you to come and to uh, use it uh, to study and to live here. Um, you will also have the chance to prove yourself. Well, this is something that usually um, university students have the chance to do in the moment when they enter university, especially in Italy. It's very important to be independent in this step. And uh, you will have the chance also to have a lot of flexibility especially in planning your own path, your study uh, career. You will see that, uh, well, in Italy we have, uh, let's say, quite a lot of freedom in organizing our hours, our plan of studies. Uh, we have the chance to refuse the mark of our exams. Uh, well, especially for postgraduate students, this is quite interesting because you will really have the chance to take a lot of control on what you would like to do and to organize uh, um, your master experience uh, the best way and as you prefer. Um, but let's move on. Uh, higher education in Italy, might or truth? Well, I think this can be quite interesting for you. These are usually questions that students have about studying in Italy. Uh, probably these are the questions that you may have as well. Uh, well, first of all, I would like to tell you that it's actually not necessary for you to know Italian to come to Università Cattolica and to enroll in one of our postgraduate programs. Indeed, we also have programs which are completely taught in Italian, and if you speak Italian, you will have the chance to study in Italian. But if you do not know Italian, do not worry, because we have a quite wide academic offer which is completely taught in English, where you will not need to know Italian at all. Of course, we always suggest that our students actually start studying a bit of Italian before coming. As I said, this is not necessary for your academic uh, success, but indeed this can be useful for your daily life. It's true that Milan and Rome especially are quite international cities and many people speak English and obviously at the university we, you will always find people who speak English but I believe that if you know a bit of Italian you will for sure enjoy much more your experience here and obviously it will also be probably useful for your curriculum and well you never know for your future. Um, how much does it cost to study in Italy? Is it as expensive as studying in other countries? These are usually some doubts that obviously international students have. Well, let me tell you that actually studying in Italy is not as expensive as other traditional destinations. Um, you will see, we will see a bit more in details how much usually students spend to live here. And also, I would like to tell you that actually you will not be penalized cost-wise for being a non-European student because actually 
we do have uh, some grants and scholarships which are dedicated completely to our international students coming from out of Europe. So actually, there are, well, some advantages in, in coming to study uh, to Italy, to our university. Also, it's important to know that we do not have a unified application process or cost. Uh, it's not as in other educational systems or countries where you will have to pass through a national system to apply to the university. We have our own admission process. You will manage to do everything just directly with the university. And more specifically, if you are interested in applying, you will have the chance to contact me directly and I will obviously help you in all the admission process and will explain you what you should do to apply to the program of your interest. I also think it's important that you think about, well, the location, the place where you will go to, to study. Location really makes a difference. We really believe in this, especially at Universita Cattolica, and you will see why. Um, we believe in the fact that there is and there should always be a connection between the place and what you will study, because we think uh, that every place has its features, characteristics, and it's important to study specific subjects in specific places. Also, well, to have the chance probably to put the skills that you will learn in practice more easily. And this is actually why we have, as you can see, not just one campus, but actually five. And as you can see, in very different places in Italy. It's true that the university, well, was born in just one place. The first campus that was founded, well, or more than 100 years ago already, was the one in Milan, which is the campus where I'm, I am located as well. Uh, but then the university kept on growing. We could expand and we were keeping on offering more and more programs inside our faculties. And as you can see, nowadays we have actually five campuses in five different cities uh, in Italy. And as I was saying, why? Well, the reason is that we really believe in the importance of the territory and the place uh, where the university is located and in what we teach in each campus. Actually, you will not find uh, the same program taught uh, in more than one campus because we really believe in the fact that each city has different features. And for this reason, we offer in each place uh, different programs. Milan, for example, it's uh, the campus where we have uh, all the programs connected to economics, management, finance, uh, communication. Well, obviously, this is connected to the fact that Milan is a very important city for uh, the presence of important companies. It's the financial capital of Italy. We have many, especially international companies that have their headquarters here. So it's important, obviously, for the students to study these subjects in this place because they will obviously have the chance to create a network and to find the best, for sure, internships in their programs. Piacenza and Cremona, instead, which probably you do not know so much, they are smaller towns. They are located actually in a quite interesting area of the country. It's the Northern Food Valley. It's where we produce a wide and very important quantity of food, but also wine, and we export our products, more than the 50% of that, to different countries all around the world. So this is why Piacenza and Cremona are actually the campuses where we teach uh, all the programs connected to agriculture, enology, viticulture, because it really makes sense to do it here, as you will have the chance to put in practice your skills uh, in the place where this uh, field uh, is practiced. We then have Brescia, which is uh, a quite interesting place to, to visit. Uh, probably you do not know it uh, very well as well, uh, but it's a very important city, especially for the presence of many technological and innovative uh, companies. And this is why Brescia is the campus where we teach all the programs connected to mathematics, data science, physics. We can say that it's our technological uh, and uh, innovative campus. And then we have a campus in Rome, which obviously, well, it's the capital of, of Italy. It's a very important place uh, where we have uh, our programs connected to political science, but not only. Rome is also the, the campus where we teach uh, medicine and surgery, 
which, uh, well, makes absolutely sense as uh, we work together, we have a partnership with Policlinico Gemelli that is uh, one of the most important hospitals in the country. Uh, so I really believe that it is uh, important for you to know that according to the program that you will choose, uh, you will have to go to a different place, but, uh, well, you will know why our faculty and our programs will be taught there. A bit more of information about the university, just to give you an idea of Università Cattolica. As said before, the university was founded already more than 100 years ago. Uh, during this century, the university grew and expanded a lot. At the beginning, as I said, we only had one campus and we were teaching very few programs. Nowadays, we have 12 schools, more than 40,000 students. And as you can see, we already have many international students coming every year to our university to study the program of their interest. I also believe it's important for you to know that internationality is not just done by our international students, but it's also something in which the university really believes. Uh, and that is why we have many, many partnerships with different universities around the world, uh, because we want our students to have the chance not just to come to Italy and to our university to study the program they would like to know, but also for them to keep on enriching their curriculum. This is the reason why we have many projects connected together with other universities and you will, you will have the chance to spend a semester, a year abroad in another country. And as said before, obviously, our academic offer has a lot of programs which are taught in Italian. Indeed, we are an Italian university, but as you can also see, we already have uh, and uh, we will have more and more programs which are completely taught in English. And as said before, you will not have uh, uh, the necessity to know an Italian to enroll in one of them. Uh, another pillar which I think it's important to keep into account, especially when you are choosing uh, the place and the university where you will keep on uh, studying and where you will enroll for your master program, it's indeed the quality of the teaching. Well, um, we are very proud actually of the uh, ranking which is shown in this slide. You probably know QS, it's a very important uh, company which works together with all the universities among the world and they obviously offer different rankings, talking and measuring different things of universities. Well, Cattolica, as you can see, has 13 of its subjects, which are in the top 300, which if you think it's a very good position, considering how many universities are located all over the world. But apart from the ranking, I really think this says a lot about Università Cattolica. It really says that our teachers, our professors, our staff works really hard to be able to offer all the time to our students the best contents, the best topics, uh, and uh, obviously the best skills and instruments for them to be able to study and to focus really on what it matters in the program they've chosen to be able, obviously, to put in practice all the skills acquired the day that they will graduate and will start going out and looking for their first job. And connected to this, uh, I also believe it's important, especially for you who are looking for a master's degree, to know what are the options for our students uh, um, talking about internships and, uh, and jobs. Well, what we can say about this is that uh, the university really thinks that it's important for students to have the chance to do an internship, and especially for master students, that is something that we believe should be done. Most of our postgraduate programs include an internship, which is actually part of the program, and uh, you will have the chance to find, well, the best option and opportunity for you according to the program you will study. We have many, many agreements with different companies, not just in Italy, but also abroad. And, uh, uh, well, we work, as you can see, with many companies all around the world, which will also allow you to have access to not just internship, but also job offers uh, published every year in our um, portal for our students. Obviously, we are not able, unfortunately, to guarantee that you will find your 
dream job the first day after graduation, but we really want to give you all the instruments and skills to be able to find it and more important to be ready for the moment when you will start looking for that. This way you will have the chance to be well prepared for your first interview for the moment when you will have to write or update your curriculum. The university really cares about being the bridge, let's say, between university, your studies and your future job. And we are actually very proud to be, well, the first university in Italy able to uh, create this connection between employer and students as uh, the QS graduate employability ranking uh, um, said. But what are services and opportunities, especially for international students? It's something obviously very important to know. Uh, well, we have as said many, many agreements with our uh, partners all over the world, which will give you as said, the opportunity to spend a period abroad studying, but also doing your internship or maybe studying a new language. We also have a language center actually inside our university where you will have the chance to learn other languages if you like, and among them to study Italian. I think this is quite important because as said, knowing Italian and learning that uh, can really make your experience uh, uh, unique. And I really think it's something that you should uh, um, consider doing if coming to Italy, because it will make your daily life much easier. Um, the university obviously also has the sport facilities. So if you practice sport, you will have the chance to keep on doing that and to keep on training. We also help you in looking for the best option for your uh, accommodation. Unfortunately, the university does not have its own accommodation, but don't worry, we will have the chance to help you and uh, to find the best option for you. We work together with different agencies, but also residences uh, in the different campuses, in the different cities, uh, and also according to the budget and the kind of accommodation that you prefer, we will be able to give you all the support uh, and uh, advices to find the best place for you. We also have associations for international students, uh, uh, different activities, especially organized for them. And first of all, we're starting from our department, the international department. You will always have uh, a point of reference before coming, when coming here, and obviously during all your studies. So you will always find all the needs uh, that you will have uh, will be um will be found here and we will always be here to help you and to support you during all the process but let's move to our um academic offer i will start uh, obviously speaking about our english taught programs which i think would be uh the ones that interest you the most uh but we will also then see a bit uh, what we offer in italian um, our English academic programs, as you can see, uh, well, it's true that they are quite a lot. And as you can see, we offer programs in very different areas, from agribusiness to humanities, communication, political science, uh, banking, uh, data science, or management. But I think it's important to start with just one thing, uh, which is telling you that actually you will find two different graduate programs inside the Catholica Academic Offer. You will find two year graduate degrees called Laure Magistrali and one year specializing masters called Master Universitari. Well, what are the main differences? Indeed, uh, one of them, as you can see, it's the duration. The two-year graduate degrees last obviously two years and a one-year specializing master's last just one year. Uh, but apart from this, uh, what is really important to know is that the two-year graduate degrees are official programs which will give you the chance to keep on studying if you would like to do so, not just in Italy, at our university, but also obviously in other universities in other countries. You will have the chance to keep on studying and enrolling in a PhD or in another master if you would like so. 
And it's also important to keep in mind that if you would like to apply to a two-year graduate degree, it will be very necessary to have already attended some subjects, studying some specific uh, uh, exams uh, as well. The two-year graduate degree, it's taught for students who would like to keep on studying more or less in the same area of knowledge and go more in depth in what they already studied in their bachelor's degree. The one year specializing master instead, it's not an official program. It's a proper title, let's say. It's offered and accredited by our university. Uh, it will not give you the chance, unfortunately, to keep on studying and entering a PhD, but it's a very practical program. Uh, as said, the internship, especially in this program, is a very important part of that. And it's for sure the best choice if your idea is to put in practice what you have studied so far and uh, to have the chance to enter more easily, probably, um, the job world. It's also important to know that usually the entry requirements are not as strict as for the two-year graduate degrees. So if the idea is to change a bit the area of knowledge and to focus more on something, let's say, more new, for sure the one-year specializing master will be the best choice for you. But let's see a bit more in details about our programs. Um, let's start for, from agribusiness, which is, uh, well, a quite interesting and I think one of the most peculiar areas uh, of knowledge and a bunch of programs that we offer. Um, as said before, all the programs connected to agriculture, viticulture, enology, food production are taught in our campuses in Piacenza and Cremona, which are, well, two quite small towns which are not so far from Milan, but they are located, as I was saying before, in a very interesting area in the countryside. Uh, and yeah, obviously that makes absolutely sense if you would like to specialize in this kind of field. Well, I think it's important for you to know that you will find here all the necessary labs and infrastructures, very specific uh, um, infrastructures where you will have the chance to study more in details about uh, agriculture, food processing, viticulture, enology. Um, obviously, I mean, we, I really think it will be interesting for you to study these uh, subjects here considering the fact that Italy is the world's top wine producer. And as I was saying before, of our production, well, more than the 50% is destined to global exports. So which place could be the best to study and to know more about food production and wine than Italy indeed? We also have, and I think it's important for you to know, our quite brand new campus, which is the campus in Cremona, uh, that has a lot of new laboratories, uh, very much specialized in, uh, in what you will need to know to study more in depth about uh, food and viticulture. We also have uh, many programs, as you can see, in banking, finance and data science. Uh, most of these programs are taught in Milan, but we also have some of them which are offered in our campus in Brescia. Milan, well, for sure, because it's, uh, it's a very innovative and modern city, as, uh, as you know. It's actually the startup capital of the country. Uh, and uh, I have to say that uh, talking about all the programs connected to banking, finance and data science, you will really find programs which are multidisciplinary because our approach really wants to be multidisciplinary in this meaning. All the programs are really taught to be able to respond to the needs of the industry. Uh, this is the reason why we offer quite interesting and particular programs such as physics for technology and innovation or European studies in investor relations, but also financial communication. So really specific programs which will, you, which will allow you to really understand what is necessary in the market nowadays and in the future. And also very important for you to know that you will study and you will have the chance to come um, and, and study real business scenarios uh, together with teachers that are also, and not just teachers, but also professionals who really work in this field. So they really know what is necessary and what will be necessary for you to know 
when you will start working uh, um, in this uh, uh, field. We have then our programs uh, uh, in management, which are quite a lot, again. Uh, management is one of the widest uh, faculties that we have. We have many specific programs, as you can see. This is actually, I have to say, a feature of the postgraduate programs in Italy, where we really believe in the fact that after a bachelor's degree that can be a bit more wide and uh, various, you will have the chance to focus more and go more in details uh, during your master's degree in what you would really like to focus on. Uh, I think it's important here to underline the fact that, uh, again, we are very specific programs according to the field where you would like to specialize. Our management programs are taught in different campuses, not just Milan, but also Rome, where, for example, we have healthcare management, which is connected, obviously, to uh, the partnership and the support that we get from the Policlinico Gemelli, the hospital where the university uh, work together with. And uh, you will also see that we have, uh, especially talking about the one year specializing masters, very specific programs. Uh, in particular, I would like to uh, underline the fact that international business, which is one of the most important programs we have probably for international students, it's actually offered in not just one format, but four. So you will find it uh, not just with regular classes, but also in an online format and executive uh, if you are already working, but would like to keep on studying and know more about this. We also have programs in communication and marketing. They are one year specializing masters. The idea of the Faculty of Communication and Marketing is for sure to study the emerging trends uh, to give uh, obviously the chance to our students to be prepared when they will have to face the future challenges and they will start working in the field and obviously to be able to respond to all the real needs and the future needs they will find when started when starting working um, in these programs especially you will find uh, practice-based projects uh, and uh, you will have the chance obviously to know more in details about uh, how communication is managed inside uh, different kinds of companies uh, or to know more and to study more in depth uh, how to understand what the consumer and the client uh, uh, would like so that obviously your strategy in promoting your company will be for sure successful and then we have our political sciences uh, programs taught uh, in the campus of Milan, but also in the campus of Rome. Indeed, for the importance of both cities, uh, uh, talking about uh, the international panorama of, uh, of Italy, uh, Rome as the capital, and obviously um, the headquarter of many international organizations uh, and organisms, but also Milan, where you can find many embassies and consulates. These for sure are the most international programs we have. Uh, we have many, many partnerships with other universities, visiting professors coming to do and take uh, different lectures to our students and obviously the chance to do, uh, as said before, not just very specific internships, but also spending time uh, abroad, which is especially in this program very much suggested. And then the last area of our programs is for sure humanities where we have programs uh, thought for students who would like to study and to know more in depth about content creation, the ability to uh, publish, to write. Um, these programs are offered in Milan, which, uh, well, is the headquarter of many important companies connected to publishing, to advertising, to uh, to television, to cinema, and indeed uh, the best place uh, to uh, study these kinds of programs and to find uh, the best opportunities for just not networking, but also indeed for internship and maybe your future job. As said before, we also have Italian taught programs. So if there is someone of you who speaks Italian, well, you will have the chance to enroll in one of our programs, as you can see, we offer programs in economics, in banking, finance, again, in linguistic, 
political sciences, mathematics, physics, agriculture, psychology. Uh, so if you speak Italian, I would for sure recommend that you also take into account the option of studying in Italian. It will be for sure very interesting to well, and you will have the chance to learn and practice more the language. Um, but let's move a bit more further. But let's talk about tuition fees, which is indeed a very important topic. Uh, how does it work? What we take into account when we assign the tuition fee to our students? Well, first of all, it's important for you to know that the tuition fees at Università Cattolica depend on the place where the student lives and the family has uh, the income. So uh, we actually do not take into account the passport, but the place where you live. So obviously, uh, for Brazilian students, uh, the tuition fees will be the ones for non-European residents. And how does it work? Well, we have a fixed fee for all the two-year graduate degrees, both taught in Italian or English, and the tuition fee will be around 8,600 euros per year. For one year specializing masters instead, uh, well, each program has a different cost. So according to the program that you would like to enroll in, the cost will be different. But more or less, I can tell you that all the programs cost between 7,000 and 14,000 per year. It's also interesting. And of course, you have to know that actually the university offer different scholarships for the two-year graduate degrees for our international students living out of Europe. We have a scholarship which is a 30% of financial aid that the university offers to our students. And if you will win the scholarship, as you can see, the cost of the degree will be, well, much less, around 6,000 euros per year and you will have the chance also to maintain the scholarship for all the duration of the program so for both years where you will attend the uh, laurea magistrale for the one year specializing masters i also have to tell you that we have scholarships they depend on the program so according to the program you will choose you will see that we offer uh, different scholarship and grants and you will find also uh, all the instructions to to apply Generally speaking, uh, I have to tell you that the scholarship usually uh, is assigned to the best students. So academically speaking, uh, we take into account uh, the grades uh, of your bachelor's degree or the final uh, grade of your diploma, the level of English, but also and indeed your background and your motivation. So they are merit based scholarships. And about living costs, which is also something that should be taken into account, especially when moving abroad. Well, I have to say that it's not always easy to say how much it costs to live in Italy. We see that our students more or less spend between 10,000 and 12,000 euros per year, which includes everything. So transportation, accommodation, food, the books, everything they need. Of course, uh, there can be always more expensive, but also less expensive uh, options. And uh, according to the budget, it's always possible to find different options. And obviously, we will always be able to give you uh, all the necessary support and help, especially in finding the best accommodation option. And the last uh, thing, indeed, uh, to give you an idea, uh, entry requirements, uh, what should you have uh, or send to apply to one of our programs. How can you apply to Università Cattolica? First of all, I have to tell you that applications for 2022 for the fall intake and the January intake are open. Um, you will have the chance to apply online just uh, through our portal. It's something very easy to do. And uh, for any support uh, or doubt, I will be uh, very happy to help you. Um, but what should you have uh, to, to apply? Well, first of all, we will take into account, uh, uh, which is very important to know, the subject studied, especially if you would like to apply for a two-year uh, graduate uh, program for a laurea magistrale, as said before. Indeed, the, the language proficiency, 
it will be necessary to prove your English level and your Italian level. And uh, if you are not, uh, uh, if you do not own your final diploma yet, but you are about to get it, well, it's possible to, to apply. It's important for us just that you graduate in time to be able to start uh, your postgraduate program, but you will have the chance to apply even if you have not uh, uh, got it yet, uh, we will take into account uh, your grades uh, and then uh, obviously uh, when you will have your diploma, you will have the chance to send it before starting the classes. And if you would like to have obviously further information, well, you can check our, um, our website, our social media, uh, international.inquiry at unicat.it is our general email, but please, if you have any questions, you can also contact me directly uh, at elisa.acquadro uh, at unicat.it. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed the, the presentation and uh, I'm available, obviously, I will be very happy to answer to your questions and your doubts. Thank you. Perfect, Elisa. Thank you so, so much for the presentations. We do have um, some questions. Some of them have been already answered in the presentation, but uh, I will ask them out loud just in case somebody joined a little bit later. So the first one that I have here is from Juliana. She is asking if does the institution provide Italian classes for beginners? Yeah, thank you, Juliana, for your question. So, yes, the university offers uh, Italian classes for beginners. Uh, indeed, uh, if you would like to study a program in Italian, it will be a bit difficult because we would need you already to know Italian. But this could be a very good chance for you to uh, learn Italian while studying, for example, an English taught program. So you will have the chance to enroll in our classes, in our language center, and to start learning Italian uh, during your staying here in Italy. Perfect, thank you very much. I'm sorry about that. My dog, she was trying to get in, but she, <laughs> she couldn't, so she's mad at me. Okay, so the next one is from Leticia. Leticia, I don't know how to pronounce that uh, in Portuguese, but is do you have scholarships? Yeah, we do have scholarships. Uh, um, as I was saying before, the university offers specific scholarships for international students. Um, it's true that they are not full scholarships, and that's important to know. They are partial scholarships, uh, financial aids offered uh, by the university to the students. Uh, uh, they are merit-based scholarships. So that's also important to take into account. We will evaluate uh, the profile of the student uh, according to uh, their uh, academic profile, the English or Italian level, the general motivation of the student and uh, the general, let's say, profile. So. According to the program that you will choose, Leticia, you will see that we have uh, different scholarships. Uh, and obviously, if you have further questions about this, uh, we will be happy to help you and find the information on our website. Awesome. Thank you very much. Um, now here, can you talk again uh, just an overall tuition fee for the master's degree? Yes, so for the one year specializing masters, uh, as I said before, uh, I didn't put the entire list because actually we have many programs and each program has a different cost, but the range of the tuition fee goes from 7,000 to 14,000 euros per year. And as said, uh, according to the program, there are some scholarships that are available, so obviously the tuition fee can vary and change according to the fact that you whether you will win or not uh, um, the scholarship perfect here mauricio is asking are there courses in the field of art uh, we do have uh, some programs uh, 
connected to art. I mean, it's true that the university is not uh, an art school. So if the idea is to study art in general, um, painting uh, or so on, uh, Mauricio, you should check uh, other institutions with, which do specialize uh, in this kind of field. We do have a connected to art uh, programs such as arts management or uh, other programs which are more connected to the management of this kind of field or in some cases uh, uh, how to, let's say, write and uh, deal with uh, um, the arts, uh, generally speaking, uh, and everything connected to literature. So it's more, let's say, from a management point of view, what you will find in our university, not from a practical um, side. Awesome. Thank you very much. Um, here uh, we have a student that says, I would like to know more about the two-year master degree in food processing, tradition and innovation. That's actually a very interesting program. Thank you for your, uh, for your question. Uh, well, for sure, uh, if if you're interested, uh, please leave your, your your email, and I will be very happy to send you all the um, the information and more in details. First of all, for sure, just to say, uh, being a two-year master degree, it's quite important to check the entry requirements to be sure to have uh, all what uh, we need that you have already attended and studied to be able to enter the program and to have uh, the basis and the necessary background to. Uh, to study the program. As says uh, the name, it's based on how to process the food and to uh, do it uh, in a traditional but also innovative way, which is always the point of view that the faculty wants to give to our students, so the ability to do everything, uh, especially in this kind of field, in a sustainable and, uh, uh, well, technologically aware uh, way. Um, being a two-year master degree, it's an official program, and uh, obviously you're, you will have the chance to keep on studying if you would like to do so. Otherwise, uh, um, well, you will obviously have the chance to do the internship and then keep on obviously looking for uh, the best opportunity for your future and uh, the first or more or maybe not job in the field. Perfect. Thank you so much. So if you can share with us your email, um, so at least I can make sure to send you all that you need. We, I, I know you already registered, but just so we know that you're interested in that specific um, program. Perfect. So Juliana here is asking, is the tuition um, fee the same for Italian citizens that are non-EU residents? Um, I'm not. I'm. Uh, I'm not sure if I understood the question. So, if you are Italian, if you are an Italian student, uh, so you have, uh, for example, a Brazilian and Italian citizenship or passport, uh, uh, the tuition fee will always depend anyway on the place where you live. So, Juliana, if you have an Italian passport but you live in Brazil, the tuition fee will be the one for non-European residents. So, it will be the one showed. Uh, uh, a fixed fee in uh, in any case, uh, and uh, there will be the opportunity for scholarships. Uh, what we really check and what we uh, consider to sign the, the, the tuition fee is the place where you reside, where you live. So um, the passport for sure, the Italian or European passport will be a plus. You will not need to ask for the visa. I know indeed that there will be uh, less documents to prepare to come to Italy, but this will not uh, uh, have any influence, let's say, or will not affect the tuition fee, which is connected to the place where you live and where, let's say, your parents and the family has the income. Perfect. Thank you very, very much. Um, here, Julie is asking, can I get a job while studying? That's actually a very interesting question, and I think this can be of interest of all of you here. Yeah, it's possible to get a job while studying, uh, a part-time job. So it's possible for students who are in Italy with a study visa 
to get uh, a part-time job, which means uh, you will have the chance to work for no more than 20 hours per week. Uh, it's also true that it's something that usually um, we do not suggest. I mean, not because we do not want our students to do it, but because you will see that uh, all the postgraduate programs are quite uh, um, well. You will have a lot of classes, you will have to study quite a lot, but indeed, uh, uh, yeah, it's possible. It's possible to work while, while you are studying. Perfect. Thank you very, very much. Now, um, Daira here is asking, do you have any master's degrees in veterinary science? Unfortunately, no, we do not offer vet, uh, vet science. I'm sorry. Perfect. Okay, so now the next question will be julie um as well so can we apply for more than one course um yeah it's possible uh it's something that we usually um do not uh, suggest uh usually students uh, choose one program and then you have uh, a second choice let's say uh but i mean in doubt, uh, we can also have a chat in private or I can help you in uh, um, better understanding uh, the programs. Uh, if you have any, any, any doubt about which program you would like to, to apply to, and we can see together what could be the best option or which program put as first and second choice. Perfect. Thank you very much, Elisa. Um... Here, Alexandre is asking, are there courses for science, engineering, or innovation? Um, Alexandra, thank you for your question. Um, so about engineering, I have to say that unfortunately we do not offer engineering. You will actually see, uh, or I mean, uh, if you will check as well on the internet, engineering is usually offered by polytechnical schools in Italy together with architecture and design. Talking about science and innovation, depending on what you're looking for, we may have something connected to, to these fields. Always, I have to say, uh, on a management point of view. So it's always uh, physics or innovation or uh, technology connected to the uh, management or business. So it's a, a multidisciplinary programs uh, where we try to connect uh, um, these uh, different fields uh, all together. So, I mean, if you are looking for something more technical, you will have to check for sure the polytechnical schools uh, that they offer more specific programs uh, in these fields. Thank you, Elisa. Um, here we have another question about scholarships. Are there scholarships for law students? Uh, the scholarships apply to all the students. So, uh, oh, I mean, also to bachelor's programs, which are not the topic of tonight. But uh, I mean, if you would like, for example, enroll in law, which we do offer, it's a five year program. Um, taught in Italian. As an international student, uh, you will have the chance to apply for the scholarship. Uh, yeah. Perfect. Thank you very much. And here we have the contact information regarding the master's degree in food processing, innovation, and tradition. So you can copy from here, and I already have them. So have it. So I will share it with you um, after the presentation. Thank you. And I think I am done with the questions um, with the students. We still have five minutes to go. So if anyone has any other qu questions, please uh, don't hesitate in typing it here on the preguntas section. But meanwhile, I wanted to ask you, Lisa, if you can um, just share any final thoughts or tips with, with the students. Well, in, indeed and for sure, if any of you is planning to apply for this year, as you saw, we have, I mean, two intakes and according to the programs that you will choose, uh, one will be the fall one and the other one, the general intake. 
it's still possible to apply. Applications are still open and everything can be done just uh, online. Uh, so I would just like to say that if you are in doubt and if you are considering uh, Italy and Università Cattolica for your future studies, uh, let's uh, let's have a, a call, let's have a meeting. Uh, we'll be very happy to to answer to your questions and to help you. Um, we have many students already from from Brazil. I think this is also interesting for you for you to know. Uh, they really enjoy the life here. They find uh, uh, not just the programs in the university, but also I mean the country. It's they really feel good here. And I think this is really also important when you are choosing uh, uh, the place. So probably um, the best university, generally speaking, or the best place does not exist, but this could really be the best fit for you. So uh, just ask questions and uh, collect information and talk uh, to all to us, to the university representatives, and we will try to help you to find out what is the best fit for you. Perfect, Elisa. Thank you so, so much. And thank you, everyone, um, for being here with us today. You have a steal on screen the contact information, so you can take a screenshot right now and save it in your computers or cell phones or whatever you're joining us from. And just so you know, we are also recording this presentation and we'll share it tomorrow on the Student World YouTube channel. So in case you want to watch it again or share it with someone that you think that will be super happy um, studying in Italy, then that, it will be the perfect chance. So I would like to finish this just thanking you all for all your questions and for being here with us, for sharing with uh, with us a little bit of your afternoons. I hope that this, was, this session was very informative and helpful for you that want to study abroad. And thank you, Elisa, so, so much for sharing with us all of these opportunities that Catolica has for Brazilian students. Thank you. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, everyone. It was very nice meeting you. I hope you really enjoyed the, the event. Obrigada. <laughs> Obrigada, everyone. Thank you so much and see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.